YouTube, what's going on guys? I have what I believe is gonna be a dope reaction video because I'm reacting to Vadim. And this is a special one because this dude I've been following for a little bit now, for a little while. Ever since I went to Russia, what was it, like three years ago, I found out about this guy and you know, he was amazing when I went to Russia three years ago, but he's an animal now. He's next level now. He's This dude right here is probably one of the most well-rounded barbers that I've ever seen. There's no doubt in my mind that he could probably cut every texture of hair out there. He's definitely an elite level barber. There's only so many all around can cut every texture of hair well barbers that I know of. And this guy is definitely one of them. So I'm excited to watch this video. I was chatting with him the other day on Instagram. And he sent me a link to this video. He said, why don't you check out this one? And so that's what we are gonna do. All right, let's get straight to it. We got the video up. Let's check it out. Look at the visuals. The music. Next level, bro. Every cut is so like on point, every cut. The way he grabs the hair, the way that he puts tension on the hair, the sections, the angle of his hands, of his cutting lines. He uses his guides, takes the next clean section, over directs it to his initial guideline, which is going to determine the shape here. You can see through the hair and just cut, cut that line to make an exact match. And now you have a moving guideline. So he takes a little bit of the, the previous cut hair out and moves it out the way. Takes a new section, slightly over directs it to the previous section, the hair that he left there, and that's now his guideline. Notice how he angles his fingers. He's got even tension on the hair, nice clean cutting lines. And the thing is his posture too. He's doing palm to palm, but it's allowing his elbows to stay down this is elite level stuff man this is cutting for passion not for money for real when you get to this level all right so he's done one side and he's gonna do the same thing on the other side oh he's cross checking now so he's taking horizontal sections and let's see how clean these cutting lines are boom no matter where he pulls from horizontally nice clean horizontal section when he pulls it out horizontally it should be a nice clean line or dust it off Vadim, you snapping, bro. This, you should be getting paid for this right here. Like, you spent some money on this. This is crazy production. Oh, man, snap. Vadim, he's not fluent in English, I don't think, but I could tell you that this production makes up for it. His channel is a must-subscribe. Y'all should subscribe to his channel, man. My man using the Mistletonis. Them shares right there run you about a quick 850, 900, 1000, something like that. Alright, so now he's doing the top half of the back. And he will have a guide from the previous part that he cut. He should be able to follow and continue building his shape on. Keeping it square. Right to that section that he already cut. Now notice he took a section. He's sectioning off the sides from the back. Now he's starting to work his guideline for his sides. I wonder how he's gonna cut the sides. Is this gonna be a traveling guideline? Is this gonna be a still guideline? Let's see. So far it's not traveling. Notice he over directed it all the way to that, that previous cut. No, it's a traveling. It's a traveling. All right, so that guideline, he's gonna over direct a little bit to that, to that previous section. Why you smiling, bro? He's like, man, I'm about to get cut by one of the goats. That's why he's smiling. <laughs> Talking about the customer. Y'all notice, I will say this, like in the States, notice he was cutting so little off, just enough to create the shape that he wants. Here in the States, man, I wouldn't even feel like I'm doing a haircut. I feel like my customers would be like, yo, I need like way more off. And I'd be cutting the same spot over and over and over again. It's just different here, bro. This is art, man. This is science. <laughs> 
her up. He's got that guideline from when he cut the crown area. When he brought it squared and cut that line, then when he brought it up, that became the guide for the top. So he can build his shape on that guide. So he took that vertical guide right there through the middle, and now that's his guide for the top. So he's gonna over direct it over to that section he just cut, and that, that's now his guide. And then you could take horizontal sections to cross check it. Yep, there go the horizontal sections, just dusting off what might be a little uneven. If you got a big chunk of hair coming off your guideline, then you gotta resection it vertically. You don't you don't cut it horizontally. Because it might be a whole vertical section that's off. Now if it's a little bit off, you're just dusting it, that's cool. Alright, so now he's gonna blow dry the hair. And watch how this cut just comes to life. People just don't get their hair cut like this in the States, man. Maybe in Cali. I think in Cali I, I see it pretty often. But here in the States, bro, I wish people would ask for cuts like this. Show me a picture of this cut, I'll be excited. One of my clients come in and show me a picture of this cut, I'll be excited. Vadim is definitely not one of those guys that can only cut with shears and then their fades or their tapers are lacking. He ain't one of them guys. His tapers be blurry, his fades be blurry, like blurry. And his shear works just next level. Very well rounded barber. And we can't stop there. We gotta show the elite level fading. Cause that's what these American barbers want, Vadim. You know the American barbers, they want the blurry fades and the lineups. All right, so the comment section, the only one I understand so far is Excelente. Just wow. This dude is, is one of the goats in Russia. Look at this. Look at all the, the comments in Russia. He's one of the goats out there. I've taken one of his online classes. I actually paid for it and didn't really get to spend as much time as I wanted to watching it. It was really dope. If y'all looking for some sheer stuff, definitely check out his content. But let's go to his channel. You can see I'm, I'm subscribed. I don't know why the notification ain't on. Put that bell on. This one is seven months ago. Dang, Vadim, you, you skipped six months, bro. You know you can't do that on YouTube? That's crazy. Yeah, that's a fake. All right, let's check it out. This one's short enough where we could watch it. Hey, 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 hey. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. So he's sectioning off the top. That hair is stupid wet. He's doing cross graduation. I wonder why you're doing cross graduation. I'm intrigued. If you're gonna do a ball fade, Vadim, I know there's a reason why you're doing. You're strategic about all your cuts. All right, so he did he did that cross graduation. Now he's gonna go ahead and cut the top. He's taking a vertical section. And he's just following the hair growth pattern when he takes those vertical sections. All right, so he's cut the top down. Now he's gonna go ahead and start to clear the bulk with what looks like a number two. Number two closed. Is that number two, Vadim, or is that number three? I wanna say it's a number two. Yo, that hair is just like flying off. He's got like a really soft, fine hair. The clippers just kind of just come right through. He's using his slim lines, putting his initial guideline in. Look how the guideline contours the shape of the head on point. Now he's going blade all the way open. You must have been recording this yourself because it's, it's getting blurry. All right, clip all the way closed. He probably opened it up a couple times. Now he's going number one guard. He's going number one guard closed. That's interesting. Look like he opened it up a bit. Nah, it look like it's, it's still closed. All right, now it's all the way open. He going from close straight to open. And he's going right into that number two that he already used. Remember, he started with a number two on the side. He's going one open straight to that number two. That's the one and a half guard. So he got the one and a half guard on there now. So he does use the one and a half guard. I was thinking that he was just blending that one open right into that two. But he's using the one and a half guard. Now, I'm wondering if he's going to leave that ridge. Nah, he's going to do scissor over comb. He's going to take that ridge out with scissor over comb. Look at that crop, bro. Crop is stupid. It's just different, bro. Clean, clean, clean. I think he left the ridge a bit, but that's cool out there. You know what I mean? Like here, you guys would be in my comment section snapping on me. Comments are turned off. I wonder why. Probably got some American barbers hating, but I, I love it. I think that that cut was so fire. Let's look at one more from Vadim Lastoshkin. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I've been following him for, for years now. Let's watch this taper real quick. Hey. Nice, block graduation. I like how he took that diagonal section off the back. Now he's going straight to the clipper work after he cut the top. But you know he did block graduation. Looks like he went straight to that number two. Gonna go ahead and ball them out. He already blended the beard in. Balling out the back, the neck taper. All right, he's going right into that blade open. Let's see if he tapers the way he fades. Clip it all the way closed, open it up little by little. 
yeah, you just ball, you go all the way close, open up just a tiny bit more, and that should be it. That should do the taper. All right, that number one guard, and he goes close. Number one guard close. My next video is gonna be like how to fade like Vadim Lastochkin. I already know the system, bro. I learned it. Now it's all the way open, and then you finish it off if you need to with that one and a half guard. You got detail, of course. I detail. There it is. Blade open. One minute taper. All right, that one and a half guard. Hey, said, bro, back your head up. Lean it to the side. Stop doing this. Try to push his head back. Look, look, look. Bro, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to break your neck. <laughs> Let's see, he does it again. Boy, turn your head. Turn your dang head. That's how you know this is not a game to him. This is not about the money. I don't care if I lose you as a client. If you don't lean your head to the side. He's got to be one of those clients, bro. Oh, he's falling asleep. He's falling asleep. Man, say, yo, wake your ass up. <laughs> Vadim, that's clean. Very clean. Look how he's doing this back taper. He's doing one half because I'm telling you, he's looking at it from that angle. He wants to make sure it flows nicely into the side taper. So he's doing one half of the taper and then he's going to marry it when he does the other side of the taper. My man is a beast. That's that Philly C cup right there. I right, get that neckline on there. I don't know, man. Them slim lines. You can get them to hit, but man, Vadim, if you haven't tried the babyless, the skeletons, bro. Saying that line right there would have been surgical with those. I know this is an old video. This is like seven months old, but if you've tried the skeletons, bro, them things are crazy. Babyless. I love his music too. All the beats are fire. Look at that angle. The gradients, the shape. All right, doing that scissor over comb. He got scissor over comb and like, it's nothing to him. See, these are videos that he's probably done online courses for. He just shows you one side real quick. See how clean it is, the shape, the texture, the styling. All right, so that's it for Vadim Lastochkin. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Dude is a monster. Very humble individual as well. And uh, I wish you nothing but success, Vadim. Guys, if you're new to Vadim, go subscribe. Link will be in the description below. Show him some love and support. My man is cutting from Russia, giving us nuggets here in the States. And uh, he's a super talented, humble dude. Hopefully, he keeps pushing out YouTube content. Yeah, bro. Look forward to seeing you in the future, bro. Hopefully, in person at a show or something. And uh, with that being said, guys, see you guys on the next video.